Hey, we're here from BlenderAuthority.com and today we're gonna to give a detailed review on the Baby Bullet Blender. We'll show you how to make a few of the popular recipes and just give an overview on our thoughts after using it. We've uh, had numerous videos and extensive reviews on our website about lots of the other bullet blenders on the market and we've been longtime users of some of the other blenders from the same company. So we do have a pretty good uh, understanding of how to use these blenders and how they compare to the other models on the market. So again, today here we have the Baby Bullet, and really the main selling point of this model is that it allows you to make uh, baby food naturally at home, affordably, without any preservatives, because a lot of people don't realize that baby food that you get on the store shelves has a shelf life of up to two years because they do use preservatives and other added ingredients. And um, the Baby Bullet's really designed as a complete package. It comes with a user manual. This thing has designed with um, food for different stages of eating. It has lots of recipes. It gives very detailed uh, information about the types of ingredients you use for each stage of the feeding cycle and um, how to slowly add these foods into a baby's diet. And obviously it goes through extensively how to make your own baby food, how to store it, and um, it's pretty comprehensive. Some of the other things you get with it, you have the various storage containers. These are freezer, uh, if you were to make like frozen food uh, that you want to defrost later, you can store these jars. It has a little date on it that you can mark the date that you made the food for storage. Generally in a refrigerator, you'd maybe leave it up to three days and you can freeze it, it says up to 30 days. And that's pretty handy. Um, it comes with two different jars. You have the larger 32 ounce jar and then you have the smaller 12 ounce jar. And then you have two different blades. This is like the other Nutribullet or Magic Bullet blades. It's uh, their four prong blade for blending and pureeing. And then you have your two prong blade, which is for milling like uh, grains, like rices. And then you have the various lids. So overall, it, it gives you a pretty good package of someone that's completely new to using, say, some of these bullet blenders and just wants something to really just learn how to start making baby food it really gives you a step-by-step -step overview of how to do it uh, without having to think too much if you had, say, your own blender and you're trying to how, figure out how to adapt it for baby food. Um, really, you can use any blender to make baby food. The main selling point, again, is that the Baby Bullet packages it all together with all the information and accessories so that you aren't overwhelmed. Um, as mentioned, it's from the same company that makes Magic Bullet and Nutribullet blenders, so the motor and the blender design is very similar to the other blenders. The baby bullet right here, you have the main motor. This is a 200 watt motor. It's the same as the magic bullet with the same power. You can see it has the fan and for breathing, it's got the same type of spindle blade and the same way of locking down the container, which we'll show you in a little bit. Um, we've already gone through all the things that it comes with. The plastic is all BPA free. The jars are dishwasher safe. Um, they are microwave safe, but they recommend not using in the microwave, not only because I don't know how comfortable I'd feel having plastic with baby food against the uh, in the jars. It not only gets hot, but maybe you just have that, whatever the jars are made out of, getting into the warm food. And then also, um, as I mentioned, you can refrigerate them or freeze them. Um, for use, it's pretty easy. You just uh, steam your vegetables or fruits and then you let them cool down and you just put them in the various containers that you decide to use and then you just uh, screw on the blending blade. You just screw it on, you put it down. There's two options you can do, you can pulse it, you just push it down, you pulse it if you don't want a puree. That would be what you do if you wanted to like say mill rice with this blade or if you didn't want it to be so finely pureed and uh, just wanted a little more chunky consistency. And then the other way is you just push it in and lock it in for blending until it gets to the desired level you want. Um, for milling, you really just use this blade, screw it on here. It's the exact same process as what I just showed. Um, as mentioned, uh, the manual goes into the various food stages. So if you're completely new to making baby food, it'll give you from step-by-step -step basis the types of ingredients to use at the different stages. Say stage one is six to eight months. You start introducing purees with simple low allergy foods. You'd maybe introduce like one new food every four days. And typically they're very simple soft foods like banana, sweet potato, pear, apple, avocado, brown rice. 
And then uh, the recipes are usually for that stage, like a single ingredient. Then it evolves into stage two, that would be like a nine to 12 month old. And that's where you start introducing some solid foods and maybe blending multiple foods together. And then um, those inter recipes are all uh, laid out in this book. And then it also goes into a stage three where potentially you could use this blender for say someone, a baby that's like a one year old and wants some aspects of the meal to be blended and integrated with some solid foods. So we'll go into some of the things that we're gonna blend today. What I did is I already pre-steamed uh, um, some sweet potatoes. I had carrots and or carrots and apples in another pan, but I decided not to do too many blending tests because they're really all similar. You're really just blending soft fruits and vegetables, which you really can do with any blender. Um, 200 watts is decent for the size of the containers that you're using, um, but we'll also uh, mill some rice. When you do milling rice, you need to go boil it with water to cook it for a little while. So what we're going to do today is just mill it with the milling blade to show you the type of consistency that comes out after using the blade. So first off, we'll use the milling blade. This is a quarter cup of brown rice. Pour it in. Use the milling blade. Screw it on pretty hand tight. You stick it in. You can see that is pretty fine, not too bad. I, I do feel some chunks, so you'd probably want to let it blend a little longer. You're going to be cooking it though, so it's not like you're throwing raw rice into uh, the baby food with the liquid. So you would cut this down a little bit longer, but it's pretty good, pretty consistent. Um, I'd say it could go a little bit longer. The next one we're going to try, we're going to do it with the bigger jar here. This is a 32 ounce jar. Again, you just screw the bottom on. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw one whole banana in, and then we're gonna get a quarter cup. Of water. We're just following one of the recipes directly from the book. And if you wanna see how simple these recipes are. This is all that's entailed. You can see one whole banana, quarter cup of water, you twist it on, shows you how to do it, how long to blend. It, it really is simple to use if you're completely new to using these types of blenders and just weren't sure how to make your own baby food. So we'll do it for 10 seconds like it says. spoon here and see how it came out yeah so I mean it is a banana so a blender that can't bend, blend a banana would be not very good so we'll rinse that out that's pretty good next up we are gonna do sweet potato now most of the recipes are formulated where you're gonna make multiple batches and then freeze them so you don't have to be steaming vegetables every single time you want to make the baby food you can just take it out uh, let the frozen uh, concentrate or the frozen food either sit in some warm water within the container or just let it sit in the refrigerator and naturally thaw out in the refrigerator um, but today we're just gonna do it here quickly we'll do uh, about an eighth of a cup. Most of the recipes, depends on how much of the size of the ingredients you're using, but you can adjust them to the desired consistency you want. This is only an eighth of a cup of water, and this is about a third of a sweet potato, so let's see how it does. So you can see based on that, that I definitely need to add more liquid. It's 
pretty. It, it's fine. You would just need to scrape it out and put it in. There's no chunks in it or anything like that. Um, based on the other stuff too, we did the apple and the carrot. Same thing. You're pureeing soft fruit and vegetables, so it really should be able to handle those. When it does sit up in the jar like this though, you generally were going to have to either um, stop it and add a little more liquid or um, move it around with a spatula just to get it down to the blending blade because um, it doesn't create that vortex blending motion if you don't have enough liquid in the container. So uh, that's really how you use it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you just make uh, multiple batches at once and then you use these storage containers that are provided with it. They're pretty handy um, and useful. Um, common questions I get with the baby bullet is can you blend um, frozen fruits and vegetables? No, you really do need to steam the frozen ingredients first before blending. Um, how long do you blend fruits and vegetables in the baby bullet? Um, you really just blend your desired consistency. You depends also on how many ingredients you use, but it really shouldn't be more than like say 10 to 20 seconds. Um, the amount of liquid you add to recipes will also depend on how thick you want it, but generally you add anywhere from say a quarter of a cup to maybe as much as a half a cup of liquid. Um, you can use any type of liquid like breast milk or, or water or baby formula. Um, the short cups again are 12 ounces and the large cups is the 32 ounce that I have here. And other than that, I'd say based on my use of it that even I didn't show on the video and I've used extensively a lot of the bullet blenders, it's simple. It's a basic blender and it can uh, blend pureed foods. The main thing you're buying it for is to have these accessories and the book and it'd probably be a good gift for a new mom or someone that's never made their own baby food and just wants step by step and doesn't really know how to do it on their own. Um, the other option is you could always just get a slightly stronger blender, maybe like the uh, Nutribullet 600, which also comes with the uh, milling blade and the extractor blade. That way you could use the Nutribullet for a lot more types of recipes like smoothies and dips and salsas and other things besides just pureeing soft baby foods. And then you could easily just get um, any type of like little silicone storage containers that would be the same type of portions. And uh, those are about the similar price too between the Nutribullet 600 and the Baby Bullet. I'll link to the Nutribullet 600 below. Uh, it's one of our favorite blenders and that also has a 600 watt motor versus a baby bullets 200 so baby bullets good it'll get people through if they're just new to baby uh, making baby food and overall i guess i would suggest it if someone just wants to give it as a gift or just wants to get started and figure it all out just keep in mind that once the baby grows past this stage of using it and this type of foods there's not as much use for a blender of this strength um, some people also choose to just get the Magic Bullet, which has the same power and works very similar, just doesn't have all the accessories. Um, you can see in our other video where we reviewed the Magic Bullet and compared it against the Nutra Bullet and our thoughts on that. Um, but overall, not a bad blender and the accessories are useful with a quite useful instruction guide. So that's about it. Um, let us know if you have any questions or comments in the comments below the video. And uh, we'll write up a detailed review and link to it also below the video for our website. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks.